just uh, set off from Quarry Park. He's joining me on the bridle uh, track, which uh, if you're familiar with Hatfield brings you out at the back of the Yatfield Chase. So I'm heading towards uh, Thorn and the, uh, the canal for just a little one today. Very, very parky, got bloody gloves on this morning. Not sure how many miles it is, but uh, I haven't done this route for a while, so I thought uh, I'd get a quick spin. Got my shorts on, and my legs can feel it. I'm only in bloody September. We're just making our way through to Hatfield. So bring us out at the, uh, at the Blue Bell, and head towards uh, Jubilee Park. Yeah, it's been some uh, some months since I've been down this way. I tend to uh, fixate on a certain location, don't I? I did uh, quite a few videos from this side of uh, town for a while and then moved on. So this is going to take me to uh, the far side of the marina where the old camera cat as it was. Then head up to Tudworth. Beautiful little uh, field, this. Great for dog walkers. And they have uh, local football teams here as well. Yeah, just going past the marina. And heading towards Kamikaze. It's been modified of late, I think, to stop people. Uh, <laughs> Cycling down that uh, side path of the steps uh, which makes me even feel worse actually because I wanted to do it. You know, I watched this video I did, uh, one of my first ones, and uh, it didn't look that steep. Practically bloody vertical. Well, there's not a chance that I can get down there, there's too. Uh, Big bollards there now. It's all overgrown because no one can get down. Yeah, it's all overgrown now. It's not being used. Two big bollards there. Shame really. Three big bollards. I think I could have mastered it or done it now if it uh, weren't. But hey ho. Missed opportunity all those uh, months ago. Press on. Yeah, one bollard, two, three. I won't even know how you could get down there with uh, that bollard in the middle, particularly the one at the end. It's, uh, it's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. I'm going to get over this bridge, go over the bridge, and head towards Tudoth, and then uh, try and get on the canal. So this is bring us out onto uh, near the um, Kingswood uh, golf courses. I'm not sure the name of the road is where the old ball still is, but I used to call it Old Thorn Road. It uh, takes you to Thorn anyway. So we'll be taking that road for at least 100 metres before we turn right onto a path. It takes us onto Tudoth. So we just come off the road, head in uh, on the path to Tudworth. Basically where that arch of the trees are is where we're heading. And onto the A18 Scunthorpe Road. So we're just coming to the end of this path. Is at Tudworth as I said. Um, if you're familiar with Hatfield it's uh, 
that's the green tree and uh, we're just before the, uh, the bridge over the uh, M180 it's like a, a landfill site for soil rubble etc I never really took much notice to be fair Rick is the old bike. Get up this hill, don't I, lad? I was just thinking when I was last down here, it must have been uh, the spring of uh, 2020 and the uh, hedgerows were in uh, full flower, the scent, the colours. And now we've just got the fruits. The rose hips, the rose from the uh, Hawthorn, all the fields have uh, given up the yield now, being harvested. Alright, so watch out the canal now, let's set the path. This is a, uh, a short trek to uh, the Thorn, let's see what it's uh, Surprises we have here. Hope it's not too bloody overgrown. Most people walking on the other side. Oh, and we got runners. It's quite busy. Isn't it? Give way to this guy. Oh, a few fishermen here. I think they're all having a little chin wag. Didn't realise you could walk on that side. Hi oh, lads. Maybe doing a bit of uh, foraging. Alright, so uh, we're at the south side of Thorn now on the uh, canal as the uh, lift up bridge. We're going to cross over this and continue up towards the dockyard at the Marine, Marina, Marina dockyard. Anyway, the entrance to Thorn before the flyover. nice and uh, greasy as a path for you and then you get to so far and it bloody runs out all these boats a life and size on a boat beautiful morning thank you I've seen a load of coal on there then. I thought it must have burned then for heat. I bet that's not cheap. Yeah, there's the marina there with all the, uh, the boats in. Uh, I don't love the, the canal. A bit peaceful. idea how much these boats cost but it's uh, a bit tranquil life for sure I would say the bird that's the bird of prey that Tony I don't know what uh, type of bird it is I don't know the Google Google whether uh, GoPro can pick it up but what I'll do is uh, take a picture and put it on see what we yeah. can realize because the bloody thing flew up over there We weren't finding what type of bird it was. Anyway, onward and upward. Oh gosh, I might look 
looking forward to getting a picture of that. Oh, that was a bully. It wasn't meant to be, was it? That meant to be. Oh yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh look, there's a, uh, a barge coming now. The Bedford. I do like this stretch. It's where nature meets humanity with the year. Uh, housing all blends in really well. They got some nice uh, gardens backing onto the canal. These have it on the left, obviously. The big ditch there. So it's, no, it's lovely. I don't mind living on something like that back out onto the canal. Get me dinghy. Rubber duck. So, uh, there's uh, the foam flyover. And uh, we're going to take the canal here again. <laughs> I just realised only a few weeks ago since I was here with all. I seem to do the same area for a while now. So I completely forgot about that. It's, uh, down here. There's little uh, sea benches. Very nice. Do a bit of liquor paint though, can not they? Um, boat services. Just found drinks uh, dispenser on my uh, camera so hopefully it hasn't rattled. If it has, I apologise and I've took it off now. To keep an eye on that thing. It keeps moving down. Thank you. Yeah, that was a good view from, uh, from these houses, isn't it? Oh, they have got a chuck in an ideal spot. Not to bloody pay for it at all. Yeah. Apparently, this boat has some history, built in the 1940s. Um, I did ask the guy, was it to do with Dunkirk and the answer was no. Apparently somebody had bought it to do with its history and try to get some money from the, I don't know, some history or some, uh, some government department that would uh, provide support for it but um, he didn't get it and now the bloody boat's wrecked. Way. So I don't know whether it was bought at a genuine um, concern for the vessel and hoping to get some funds to redo it or uh, to buy it get some funds just to make a few buck and even just take money, I don't know, it's a shame either way. Here's a beautiful stretch, this of Arjun. That's where me and all had a coffee. I think that was the last video, was it? Oh yes, last video, I think Stainy picked up. So we'll do some of that section, we might do it all. Um, and we'll move on from Stainy down towards Barnby Dunn. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I use a very good wind hold on him. He's a funny guy. These beautiful boats. Some big buggers, I know they're good. Anyway, let's continue with the ride, Donnie lad.
There's a lot of movement, it's very rarely come down here when there's a lot of movement, so today I've been very lucky. Very lucky. Lovely to see. Well, the lilies seem to have lost the flowers now. Weather's turned. It's that long, did it? Two or three weeks ago, we're probably 30 degrees, and now we're down to 14. Everyone's going, oh, it's bloody cold, bloody cold. Wait till we get to March, April when it's 14, 15, they'll be saying, God, isn't it hot? <laughs> crazy, isn't it? Crazy, man, crazy. I don't know if uh, the GoPro can pick it up. The bells are ringing. That will give you an indication what day this uh, ride was taken and the video recorded. Probably why it's so peaceful and quiet. Nobody about. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Oh, I've just stopped on this path here. I've never done it once. I'll go through here. More, uh, more appeasing to my uh, sense of riding. It's nice on the canal, but it just gets a bit flat, boring. Not flat, but it's the same old, same old. At least here I can uh, have a meandering path. Little obstacles in the way. I'm not sure if I've been down here actually. The bells are quite eerie. It's the odd bell boom. Oh, oh Bracken's uh, dying back. After all that, it's just brought me out of the. Uh, Canal. <laughs> All of uh, 200 meters. Anyway, God. So last video, me and Noel come through. We on the, on the left hand side. Um, come from up there. But today, I'm going to go and head towards the new inn at Staney for embarking on my leg of the canal to Barmby Dun. to uh, the new wind pub now we're going to cross the bridge and uh, and I'll have to continue with the uh, the canal path So I can't go through the pub. I have to do the road section and get on the canal path from there. So we're on West Bank on that side there's the Don. God that's low now. The Don's bloody low. Shine a light. I think mud banks on it. No, that's a worry. But we are gonna take a left somewhere there it is get uh, onto the uh, the path towards Barbie done now
Oh, the rose lips are beautiful. It's a beautiful side of the canal as well, this. They've got a lovely uh, location to live on. I remember a few years ago coming down here and uh, a couple of fishermen had got a fryer on and bacon, the smell of bacon. Ooh, gorgeous. Well, they didn't offer me any, so. I didn't go home and have a bloody bacon booty afterwards, mind you. <laughs> I think sometimes you just hit by a smell. Mm. Just makes you want it, doesn't it? Yeah, the next stretch then takes us to the moorings. <coughs> I have to cross over the lock and round. Oh, it's got cold. Very nippy. Have to get long trousers before long, I think. Wind's getting up. side with the viaducts but today I thought I'd come through the moorings and uh, cross over the lock and ride the other stretch it all uh, joins up it's like a fork here this is a little island in the middle you'll see as we, uh, we get closer and it seems I've uh, come at a time where uh, boats uh, to get through Baby, yeah. favourite isn't this? I'm just gonna bloody fall in. <laughs> oh, Ooh, bloody hell! Large and more, that's a beautiful big one. It's just starting to rain again. Oh, bloody rickety, rickety. Nice. So as we near the uh, turning point here, you will see that this little area is a bit of a fork and that is the uh, Lee's Gull line, line, Lee's Gull uh, navigation. So that's just the moorings there. So you can take to the right, leads to Gull or we can go this way and it'll take us to Doncaster. Just stop and have a look. There you can see, well not clearly, Cambridge fucking off again further up. Cambridge further up there and Lee's goes to the left where the canal actually uh, forks off. I get a better look when we get around the corner but uh, no GoPro's not the best of uh, long distance. That road takes you to uh, Barmbidon and the churches. But we're going to Go left. That rotates at church, does it? Takes you onto the main street for the road, doesn't it? Can't even remember. But uh, yeah, at least on this uh, stretch of the canal, there's two sides to it. You can go on that side or this side today. I decided to go on this side. This will take me to the church. It will take me to the the, the, the bridge, which then takes you to Arxey.
was expecting to see a bit more wildlife today. It's, uh, everything's subdued and quiet. All that dry spell that we had has killed a lot of these uh, plants off, but now the grass is uh, on the rain rejuvenating. continues up there it's, uh, I'm going to uh, head back onto Hatfield Lane over the railway bridge into Quarry Park so I'm going to wrap the video up there I think guys uh, the route is on Strava don't know that MTV search me, follow me any pictures that I've taken today and I took quite a few I didn't get the bloody bird of prey mind you they're going to be on uh, the Facebook page, Daniel Adam TV. And uh, please like, subscribe, and comment if need be. All right. Like I say, if you enjoy the video, there's plenty on there. It's a catalogue now of nearly 100 videos I've got over the last few years. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you'll uh, revisit the channel again soon. Bye bye.